Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike from the Pipe Doctor Plumbing and Heating, 516-348-6300. We're based in Valley Stream, New York. Right now I'm working on a Lennox LGA 240 at this rooftop for one of our commercial clients. We also take care of the other units as well. This unit was dead, basically. Um, we had multiple errors on this control up here. I had an error 68. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I also had a error 64. Uh, a gas valve not energizing and flame rollout switch was open. Uh, I found that this inducer motor here was seized up. And here's the old one. And you can't even spin this thing. And take a look at the capacitor. That was blown. So I put in a new inducer assembly. I got the first stage to open up fine and then I had to proceed to diagnose the second stage the right side and uh, I wasn't getting any ignition so I replaced the ignition module and also replaced the uh, flame sensing rod I did it on both might as well it's cheap enough the system is about 13 years old but we got it up and running if you are in our service territory, um, you know, around 15, 20 miles from Valley Stream, New York, which is on Long Island, uh, right near the Queens and Nassau border, and have a commercial rooftop unit that you need servicing, please give us a call, 516-348-6300. Sorry, you can also submit a service request online at our website, which is pipedoc.net. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and drop your thoughts, feedback, even criticism down in the comments section down below. Uh, we, would, we would really appreciate it. Thanks, for what, thanks so much for watching. Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike from The Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. We're based in Valley Stream, New York. We're right in, on Long Island uh, next to the uh, Nassau-Queens border. Uh, again, I am working on a uh, another Lennox rooftop unit. Uh, this is a model LGA 240, which is about 13 years old. I think the manufacture date was 2007. By the way, you could tell what the manufacturer uh, year is by looking at the serial number. The third and fourth digit is the year. So this is a 2007 model. Um, this particular model, uh, I have problems with the heat exchanger on the uh, second uh, valve, second uh, circuit. I'm gonna leave that one off for right now, but I am getting an error on the uh, circuit number one. And as you, I don't know if you can hear it, we have ignition. We still have the ticking in the background from the electronic ignition module. The ticking stops after about eight seconds, flames goes off. And uh, we're getting an error, which is error number 58 on the control board. Right now, I'm getting an error 69. It's hard to see that, but it says. And 69 is gas valve two not energized three times uh, with a demand. Uh, number 58 is gas valve one not energized two minutes after thermostat demand. As you can see, it keeps trying to recycle itself. We have ignition. We still have that ticking in the background from the electronic ignition on the spark igniter. Stopped, three seconds later, flames cut off. I'm gonna pull out the uh, flame sensing rod right over there and see how uh, if that's dirty or not. Whatever, it's all the way back there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit. There it is. Eh, it looks a little dirty, but we'll take that out and clean it. And then I'll continue this video. I'm just gonna turn off the power. We have this cool little circuit breaker switch. In the off position right now power is off I'm gonna take that out and clean it here is that igniter doesn't look too bad but we're gonna uh, clean that up with some emery paper some guys like to use the dollar bill method I like to use the emery paper it's just a piece of steel guys <laughs> 